Welcome to NeuroRT Training. This video is going to give you a brief walkthrough of NeuroRT training capacities. This software has been designed for neurofeedback practitioners. First off, you will have to select a patient. This patient can be either created if it's a new patient or selected from an existing database. You'll see you can select from different database files you've created previously and you can decide to run your processing either locally or remotely on different server processing locations. Once you've selected the patient, you have to configure it the EEG acquisition. In this example, we'll leave a simulator where you can choose from a broad range of available EEG amplifiers. Then you have to configure the preprocessings, notch filters, bandpass filters, and cutoff frequencies, and some advanced signal processing such as temporary contact loss corrections, iodine corrections, and even EMG corrections. If you're willing to adjust referencing in your EEG montage, this is also possible. NeuroRT training offers you the choice between two types of neurofeedback protocols, direct amplitude protocols or QEEG protocols. If you want to do QEG protocols, you'll have first to select a reference database. This normative database can either be selected amongst those available or built by yourself after you collect data with your EG headset. Once you've done so, you can either do broadband areas or surface data. The modality can be either eyes open or eyes closed as databases would usually handle both. Finally, you have to decide on the session duration and set an initial threshold which you can then adjust. If you want to save the EG data during the training, do not forget to tick this box. Once you've done so, it is time to select the broadband areas you would like to reinforce. You can either select these areas yourself if you know what they're related to can see that they select on the right hand side. When the mouse is over the areas, you can say that they're highlighting in yellow on the right hand side. If you don't know so much about broadband areas, it is possible to search them by keyword. For instance, if you want to uptrain functions that are associated with memory, just type memory and you will highlight broadband areas that are related to it. You will see a brief description of the broadband areas when you put mouse over it. Likewise, if you want to train attention, you can then select broadband areas you're interested in. And see the results, three dimension on the right hand side. Once we, you are happy with the broadband areas you would like to reinforce, just press next and decide on the feedback you would like to use. There are few variable feedbacks and more will be added soon. In this case you can use a candle that's modulated by the amplitude of the feedback you're interested in. You can also modulate a melody that will be changed if you're using ice coast protocols for instance according to the feedback you're interested in. Likewise some of you might be familiar with the mic balloons Again, you have to decide on the feedback speed and direction. If you'd like to monitor topographic views in two different frequencies, for instance, here we're looking at alpha frequencies, it is possible we can also change it to different values. Once you're happy with the configuration of the feedback, just press next and it is time now to check your data. The first screen is going to show the raw data. You can modulate the signals 
you can just button on the left hand side and you will see on the top right hand side that you have the current signal quality index as well as the average quality index on the data. You can look at the clean signals after artifact removal and you will see here that there is an indicator for signal quality as well when you have like huge artifacts. If you'd like to look at topographic views, this is also possible. Once you're happy with the quality of the data you're recording, just press next. You can now start the neurofeedback session. You can see here that the amplitude of the candle is directly modulated by the activity in the broadening area that you have previously selected. On the top left hand side corner, you will see a countdown that indicates how much time is left for the station to come to an end. Further information are also displayed on the top left corner. For instance here, the bad signal quality is indicated in yellow. Once you're done with your feedback session, you can go back to the main menu and look back at your patient history and data. We hope you found this software interesting and do not hesitate to go to our website www.nciatech.com to ask for further information.